This will be a demonstration on how to perform the CAM ICU assessment. To properly treat delirium, early recognition is essential. The patient's health history should also be evaluated for delirium risk factors such as dementia, alcohol abuse, and drug abuse, hypertension, coma, high severity of illness, and use of benzodiazepines. CAM ICU assessment has four separate categories to test. Acute onset or fluctuating course, inattention, altered level of consciousness, disorganized thinking. For acute onset or fluctuating course, the RN will assess the patient for any acute mental status changes from the patient's baseline or any mental status changes within the past 24 hours shown by changes according to the RAS scale. What was Cole's baseline mental status prior to being admitted to the hospital? He was normal, usually has a calm manner, very outspoken and outgoing. Okay. Has the patient had any fluctuation in mental status in the past 24 hours as evidenced by fluctuation on the sedation level or consciousness scale? Um, we will be using the RAS scale. I'm a zero right now. Yeah, you're a zero. The patient in situation one would receive a score of zero because his current mental status is the same as his baseline and has not fluctuated in the past 24 hours. The patient would score two if his mental status had been anything but baseline. Please know that in this category, the patient's score will either be a zero for passing or two for not passing. For inattention, say to the patient, I'm going to read you a series of 10 letters. Whenever you hear the letter A, indicate by squeezing my hand. Read letters from the following list. I will now show a patient who passes this section and a patient who does not pass this section. I'm going to read you a series of 10 letters. Whenever you hear the letter A, indicate by squeezing my hand. S, A, V, E, A, H, A, A, R, T. When you hear the letter A, indicate by squeezing my hand. S, A, V, E, H, A, A, R, T. For an attention, patient one receives a zero because the number of errors are less than or equal to two. Patient two would receive a score of two because the number of errors are greater than two. The score in this category will either be a zero for passing or two for not passing. For altered level of consciousness, the arm will assess to see if the patient simply falls under any other number on the RAS scale other than zero. First patient is a RAS of zero. Second patient is a RAS of anything but zero. For altered level of consciousness, patient one receives a zero because his RAS is a zero. In situation two, the patient would score a one because his RAS was anything but zero. In this category, the patient will either score a zero for passing or a one for not passing. For disorganized thinking, the RN will ask a series of yes or no questions and have the patient follow a command. And if the patient makes more than one mistake, they fail this section as well. Cole, will a stone float on water? No. Are there fish in the sea? Yes. Does one pound weigh more than two pounds? No. Can you use a hammer to pound a nail? Yes, you can. Good. Now to the command. Hold up this many fingers. OK. Do the same thing with the other hand. Now, if the patient is unable to do that with the other hand, have just say, hold up two fingers, and then add one more. Cole has passed step four. Cole, can you tell me, will a stone float on water? No. Are there fish in the sea? No. Does one pound weigh more than two pounds? No. Can you use a hammer to pound a nail? No. Hey, Cole, can you hold up two fingers for me? 
Can you do can you do the same thing with the other hand? For the last category, disorganized thinking, the patient in situation one scores a zero because his combined number of errors are less than or equal to one. The patient in situation two would score a one because his combined number of errors were greater than one. In this category, the patient will either pass with a score of zero or not pass with a score of one. After your assessment, score the patient. A total score of five points or more is considered a positive CAM ICU assessment and delirium is present. If the patient scores less than five points, it is considered a negative CAM ICU assessment and delirium is not present.